It's Milan Jones. I'm going to take you on a journey across all the United States. 50 states, y'all. 50 landmarks in less than five months. Just showing you some of the things that you did not see in the movie. And if you did not see the movie, you can check it out right here. The whole point of this movie is that we need to remember who we are in Christ. And we need to remember where we came from. We're not some kind of uh, hedonistic heathen nation that sprouted up from nowhere. But we actually have some good roots that are founded in Christianity. Yes, oh, all the demons scream when you say that word. <laughs> if a man's not on an adventure, he's going to be on some other stuff. And I had to take this journey because there's a lot of nihilistic voices going around telling me as a black man being 13% that I am no good, that I cannot make it, that the success rate for me is way down, down, down in the, in the low area. But the truth is, is that as I traveled this beautiful country, I did not experience racism one time. But the only thing I did experience is with somebody online who was black who was telling me, why are you taking a picture with all those white people? That's the only thing that I experienced that was kind of race related. But other than that, I feel like the country was safe. I feel like with God, anything is safe. If you're out of God's will, you better be afraid. You better be scared. But you, if you're going with God, wherever you are, it's never going to be a scary place. It's going to be the safest place you can be. So we're going to start this journey off in Florida. And then we're going to head up on to St. Louis. St. Louis! What's up, y'all? It's Milan Jones out here coming from work. June 1st is going to be the first day of my official tour. I'm going to all 50 states. Um, seven month tour across all 50 states. It's called the Be Come Tour, um, aka for the Be True album release. Uh, Be True is basically about using your gifts to glorify God for the benefit of all mankind. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to use our gifts to glorify His name, help our brothers and sisters out. So if you got a talent and you got a gift, don't hide it, let it shine. Your dreams, your fears, your star, right here, terrified by what you see. Made for much more, so much in store. You leave us, and that's unfortunate. You've made great music with the kids. You've had great showcases with the young people. Mike, we just want to wish you well, and we pray that you'll be blessed in all of your endeavors. And so now that you leave us, we can only wish you the best, but it's with some bitterness, okay? I believe that you did a great job, and uh, I just want to say farewell. Good luck taking over the world. And we pray that you'll be blessed in all of your endeavors. Thank you so much for all that you did for our kids. As always, you have my vote of confidence, good sir. Hope that you will have a blessed and wonderful career. That is all. Good morning, and today I am putting up my stuff. Um, I'm behind on my schedule though because I was supposed to be packed yesterday. My biggest problem today is that I don't have money for the uh, RV. They take a thousand dollar deductible for the RV, and I forgot to do some stuff with my job to get the vacation pay and stuff, and I didn't get that, so I don't know. It's gonna be a struggle. Hey, 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 on my way to Georgia, this place is where I was born. I was born on Warner Robins Air Force Base, Georgia. I have auntie and family still living in Georgia, so there was something dragging on my car. I don't know what it is. Something scraping under my car. I wasn't sure what it was, but it's like some little plastic under here. So I had to get this jack, jack this up and uh, figure out, yeah, tie it back up together. Yo, so uh, fix the problem. See right here, I had to do some duct tape underneath. What's up y'all, here in Savannah, Georgia, down the river walk. In the darkness, full of love and kindness, with a right. like Hey, what's up world? It's uh, Wilbur Alexander coming live from uh, Savannah, Georgia. Just got finished listening to your boy Milan Jones. Had to come over here and join him for a quick set. Natural music, playing the guitar, nice voice, nice vocals, original music. Come and check him out, Milan Jones. All right, I'm headed to Columbus, my cousin's house. And then I'll be going to Atlanta, which is about an hour and 15 from there. But I'm not really staying in Atlanta. I'm just going to be passing through, so let's go. 
riding into the sunset. Going down. It's going down. My soul, my savior, God, to thee. So, okay, wait a minute. So, you want me to say it from Atlanta? <laughs> well, or you say from Clarksdale. Clarksdale. Oh, All right. but I reside in Atlanta. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. You, are you ready for me now? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Melvin Miles from Clarksdale, Mississippi. I now reside in Atlanta, Georgia where I am a musician, a singer, songwriter, and actor. Singing, I've been since 1986, so close to 30 years, if not already. I don't do the math in my head. <laughs> How long have you been? Okay, go ahead. Who influenced you to do music? Oh, my dad. My dad started me and the rest of my siblings off um, singing in a group. Um, that's when I started singing in 1986, when he started training our voices and everything. So he was my first influence. Started growing up and learning more of uh, the artists in the world and went to school for music and everything. I started getting other influences like Richard Smallwood, Don Lawrence. It's a passion, basically a passion that was instilled in me, you know, from my parents, whole family is musical background. Growing up, that's all I knew. That's all I knew, and it just became a passion for me. The acting is something I fell into once I moved to Atlanta. You know, I really have never had a real big passion for it, but it's in the same. So good so far. I was able to resign from my job and <laughs> do it full time. So, hey. I've been in, uh, there's a new movie coming out, Birth of a Nation, about Nat Turner, uh, directed and starred in by Nate Parker. Uh, done TV shows like Sleepy Hollow, Tyler Perry, Have and Have Nots. Park. What role did you play in the Nat Turner movie? I played a rebellious slave. <laughs> I, I played one of the slaves that killed uh, people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> it, it gave me a, a a chance to let out my inner beast. <laughs> oh, I had, I just had a little knife, oh, okay. but I stabbed him in the neck. <laughs> it was fun. I don't know if they're gonna show all of that, but hey, it was fun to do. <laughs> Who are you? Am I my skin color? No. I'm that spirit. That soul within. I'm light in the darkness. Uh. Here in St. Louis, did not go to the Arch and play, but that will be tomorrow. And then looking for some open mics, but uh, got the hook up here. I'm gonna take a shower, go to sleep, be refreshed in the morning. <laughs> All right, so that's today's adventure. We made it from Florida all the way to St. Louis. It was quite a journey. Now, can you tell me the state model of St. Louis? And the first person that leaves a comment on my YouTube page gets a copy of my new album, Believe. It'll be sent right to you free of charge. So what is the state model of St. Louis? I'll see you next time.